I'm three on your side's Gary Harper. A Glendale couple says they thought getting away for a few days would be kind of relaxing, but their recent trip to California was anything but relaxing. Their car during the process was towed, and they say the whole thing was a horrible mistake. Joe Scardurlo and his wife Katie like to get away sometimes, particularly to California. Uh, we've been to San Diego many, many times. Friends, family, just her and I, we, we frequent there a lot. But on a recent San Diego trip, things did not go so well. So this is arguably, if not definitively, the worst experience we've ever had. Here's what happened. Joe and his wife recently checked into a San Diego Roadway Inn, which falls under a major chain called Choice Hotels. The front desk lady was super friendly, gave us some food recommendations, which we were really excited about. Uh, we actually took them up on one of those food recommendations and had some good time. While the couple was leaving the hotel office, they were given what they say is a generic piece of paper to put in their car, indicating that they were paying guests and that they were authorized to park on the property. This would be the parking pass. Uh, it doesn't indicate anything about a parking Necessity doesn't talk about any towing company that I would have to contact if my vehicle was missing. Joe says he put the paper in a visual spot and parked, but a few hours later... And when we decided to exit the hotel room, the car was gone. Turns out Joe and his wife's car had been towed, and he says other vehicles were about to be towed as well. It was shock and awe. I mean, we were, we were stunned. Joe shot this cell phone video, which he says shows the property manager, the tow truck driver, and other guests arguing over the issue. Joe claims the so-called parking pass he was given did absolutely no good, and he was forced to pay to remove his vehicle from the tow yard. How much did you have to pay to get your car out? $545. More than 500 bucks. Yeah. Pretty pricey. Yeah, 100%. Joe says the issue is a misunderstanding on someone's part and asked three in your side for help getting his $545 back. So I got a hold of Choice Hotels, one of the largest hotel chains in the world, and they say they are now investigating the matter. Joe says he's certainly happy to hear that and is glad three on your side is involved. I'm hoping that this doesn't happen to anybody else. That, that's going to be the number one thing. Again, the hotel chain tells three on your side that they are investigating the issue when they discover what happened. And more importantly, if these viewers get their money back, I'll certainly let you know in a follow-up report. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.